Next, I'm going to explain to you the contribution break-even chart. So, in a contribution break-even chart, you will have three lines and that three lines are your total revenue line, your total cost line and your variable cost line. Remember, when you, we talk about the contribution, contribution is the difference between your total revenue and your total variable cost. So, that gives you your contribution. So, if you have here... So, total revenue minus this one. This one is your total variable cost. This is the area of your total variable cost. This one is the area of your total revenue. So, the difference between your total revenue and your total variable cost is your contribution. So, this is basically the area of your contribution. Okay. That is your total, total contribution. Okay. So, this is the area of your total contribution. Again, okay, uh, this is the area of your uh, profit. So, this is the area of your profit. And the bottom one, this is the area of your losses. Okay. Uh, if you want to identify your... Sorry. If you want to identify your... Uh, as your break even just now so this is uh, uh, this the the others remains the same okay this one is your break even point okay this one is the your margin of safety this one is your angle of incidence the the, the remaining are the same just that if you are required to draw up the contribution break even chart that means this chart highlights the contribution so it highlights your contribution so you just need to identify this one is your area of contribution and this is the area of your profit the bottom one is the area of losses you can also identify your break-even point your margin of safety okay that is your contribution break-even chart next we will look into your profit volume chart this chart is very simple so a profit volume chart is a graphic that shows the earnings or losses a company uh, that a company is making in relation to its volume of sales so a uh, company can use the pv chart to establish the sales goals or maybe to analyze whether new products are likely to be profitable or not or maybe they can use that this chart to estimate the break-even point so this is just to, to say you just have a single line that is your profit volume line means you still have your x axis your x axis your is your sales in units and your y axis is your uh your profit okay so at break-even point, your profit is zero. So, this one, your profit is zero. Anything below that, anything below that, that means this is your losses. Anything below this, you are making losses. Anything above that means you are making profit. So, it highlights that this one is your break-even point. So, you, you are break-even at 5,000 units because at that point, you are making no profit and no losses. Okay, that is your profit volume chart so by now hopefully you are clear on how to draw your sometimes the question will ask you to uh, or you are you need to know how to draw your traditional chart you also need to know how to draw your contribution chart and how to draw your profit chart okay these are the things that you need to uh, to know for the cvp graph so thank you